External radiation and surgery are not the only options for the treatment of prostate cancer. My name is Jason Molitoris, and I'm an assistant professor in the University of Maryland School of Medicine, and I work in the Greenenbaum Comprehensive Cancer Center. Today we're going to be drawing outside of the lines talking about high-dose radiation brachytherapy as well as hyperthermia treatments. We know that surgery is a very good option for a lot of men with prostate cancer. We also know that external beam radiation is an option, and in some cases, Brachytherapy, commonly referred to as SEEDS, is an additional option for men with prostate cancer, where we introduce radioactive SEEDS into the prostate itself. Now, while this is a good option for some men, and we know that increasing the radiation dose through the use of internal treatments is beneficial for a lot of men with prostate cancer, some men have prostate cancer that doesn't work well for the use of SEEDS. If prostate cancer has grown outside of the prostate, it can be challenging to get seeds to remain in place and deliver radiation dose to this prostate cancer. Additionally, surgery can be challenging in these situations because it can be difficult to remove the entirety of the prostate cancer. So at the University of Maryland, we have initiated a high dose rate brachytherapy program. Similar to seeds, we insert catheters or needles into the prostate However, in this situation, we give high dose radiation over the course of five to 10 minutes through these catheters while the men are asleep. Because we're doing this with the catheters in place and all radiation is delivered, we are able to deliver significant amounts of radiation to the entire area where the tumor exists. In addition to doing high dose rate brachytherapy, in cases where prostate cancer has come back, we have an additional treatment of hyperthermia in which we can use to improve outcomes for men with prostate cancer. Hyperthermia is gentle heating of the prostate, which we know synergizes with the effectiveness of the radiation. This is commonly done in many malignancies um, to improve outcomes, especially in patients who have uh, recurrent cancers. So in summary, high dose rate brachytherapy allows us to treat outside of the lines um, and hyperthermia allows us to improve treatment outcomes in the hardest to treat patients.